stuff with it. So we start with logging into the Facebook. And nothing's going to happen until you're going to uh, enter your account ID. So under the helper, you have get account that get add accounts. And that's when you're going to see all of your add accounts. I know that I want to work on this particular one. So once you select this one, you get your uh, ad sets and then you will see all your existing ads. And now let's say I want to work on, I know that the fall colors is my latest one and this is a ad. So let's go this one and use it for targeter. So this way, this ad went to the targeter get ad sets and all the info from this particular ad set is being pulled down campaign id objective get objective get estimate reach there you go so all the current numbers are pulled down and now you can start working on this particular ad and i will see with our current setup we have around slightly over three thousand people which is of course not enough but you know that was a very specific ad i was working on so all this info even if it's not like i said it's not a very sexy way of presenting those information but they all absolutely here and this is very interesting part because this is what 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 makes the huge difference between the targeting using this tool and a traditional facebook targeting in traditional facebook targeting if you're targeting travel people interested in travel or people interested in beaches. So it means that this is a 1 million people, this is 1 million people. So you got 2 million people as a, your target. This tool, this is this is overlap between uh, interests. So, so you targeting people who are interested in travel and in the beaches. So, so between those two groups, you're gonna have a group which is interested in both. And this is, this is what the precise targeting is all about. So this is, that's the brilliant part and let's say if you go to interest and on the top of it you're gonna be like i don't know let's do something crazy let's do uh, football so this is additional interest football which you can bring to your to your uh, general targeting so let's say general audience audience size is decent let's bring this uh, into the targeting now we go to there you got the football so you can add another condition get the football in and you have a people who likes travel and beaches and football so it's definitely going to be a smaller number than between those two and you can see this is uh, 3300 but get estimate reach looks so you got only 600 people so this is like laser sharp uh, of course, those are two small numbers to bother with the ads, but but you got the idea. So you can you can go ahead and add more conditions to it, and you can really really narrow down uh, your targeting. And on the top, you can of course minus specific interest as well. So it's not only and, but you can you can exclude as well a specific group of people. And you can do it through the interest. You can go through demographics, uh, behaviors. That's very interesting. Like if you don't know what the Facebook behaviors are or because they are sometimes they are very funk, you can go just get behaviors. And then you have a like whole list of uh, different behaviors, which you can see here. How interesting could it be for your targeting credit card technology early adopters gas this is ever changing so so something that can actually get behaviors and get that whole list of uh, for you to use that's that's very interesting uh, advanced targets the same story politics industries income income let's say income you don't know what the categories are but you can just go and you see this is the income category so Again, let's say we want to go only with those guys, copy to targeter, you go to the targeter and you have suddenly this as a, another condition. That condition, 
There you go. So you got people who are interested in travel in and beaches and football and making between 125,000 and 150,000. That's going to definitely bring the number down. 20. Ooh. But if you're going to reach those 20, they're going to convert. Um, so yeah, that's that's what it is. And uh, updates at setting interest, that's, that's the button who's going to actually update your original settings because this is uh, connected to your Facebook account like you see here. So whatever you do, if you update at set interest, that's going to be reflected in your original targeting within the Facebook. I know with this version fixed the problems. The previous version had a little bit of the problem and you could not see those updates through the ad manager. You have to go through the power editor, but nonetheless, it's there. If you, if you, if you update, it's going to be reflected in your, uh, in your final uh, interest and uh, your final ads. So, so this basically adds this incredible, incredible uh, functionality when you can be really specific and really precise and gives you the additional leverage uh, for your ads.